And then he just kind of is a little more lethargic, but. but yeah, the other two guys are pretty healthy, so once he passes, then I'll have more time for things. If you want to go ahead. All right, or just stand there. It's way easier for you to go ahead, Nick, than it is for me. <laughs> In those situations, if you just go, cause like I can't, I don't, you know, like you can go a lot faster than I can. It seems like there's more people out today, right? I don't know if that's because it's earlier in the day or... I think it's because it's It's not really any warmer though. I mean, it's not really that much warmer. It's not warm enough to be like, oh yeah, it's a warm day. <laughs> you know? Yeah. In comparison. It's like 41 right now. I mean, it's like, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know, for me, it's like, um, if, if it's cloudy, I'm more likely to like, um, want to, uh, you know, to like get out and like get the blood flowing. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, just if it's sunny, I can, like, I don't know, get stuff done and everything, but. How often do you go for, like, bike rides? Not, like, commute bike rides, but. Just... I mean, I probably go for it more now because, like, um, well, in part because, uh, um, you know, like John and Craig and them were talking about one to bike, um, and they may well once it's, uh, warmer out, um, but, uh, but, uh, yeah, and then, like, I was going with, uh, Brent there for a bit. And then, like, I wanted to put the miles in from when I rode with him. But, uh, now that it's, like, warm, it won't be until, like, next winter that I ride with Brent, probably. Because he likes to go mountain biking. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, now I've got this, I've sort of got the, uh, the ride to St. Cloud on my mind. So... Um, so, uh, yeah, I just probably want to put in as many miles as I can. Because that's, like, approaching, like, twice as far as I've ever gone before. <laughs> so, um, so we're, like, pretty much right on track with our time. I don't know how long we like stopped, but I think when we left my place it was 12.50, and right now it's 1.35, so. And then, I mean, we're not literally to DQ just yet, but we're really close.
Oh, we could go up Minnehaha um, if you wanted, but my initial plan was just to turn around. No, uh, it's to go. We went on it that one time. It's like right by the train. Uh, well, huh? I don't remember anymore? That one day when my uh, when the tire got like all jammed up. Oh. Um, I didn't have a tool to like. I think actually I probably could have fixed it once I like took the time. I can't remember what I ended up doing, but maybe I did need a wrench. But anyway. Um, you remember that day? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's on Minnehaha. Um, so. We can make like turn around. Okay. That was what I had planned on doing, but um, if you wanted to see something else, then that's an option. So we probably got about 15 minutes before. Uh, oh, but we started it a little late because we started at your place. So we probably got more like 20 minutes. It's uh, 1438. Yeah. Yeah. I, um. Oh, you mean the recording? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably got like 20 minutes left. Something like that. Too much mud for your uh, city's IT video, I suspect, right? <laughs> well, good luck with that in Minnesota. <laughs> But, I mean, if you're trying to get uh, uh, customers in Minnesota, then having a, a snowy uh, background is uh, probably not such a bad idea. Oh, I never did look at the uh, the 28th. We're far enough away from that that I don't know that that's a priority anyway. Did you get any uh, web development clients ever? I know that was a, a big topic for you. Just some inquiries. We actually, we're kind of, we're probably gonna launch Facebook like advertisement today. Uh, Facebook ads, we have a free 15 dollar uh, Yeah. But were you able to convince your uh, your co-founders about doing web development? Because I know that like that uh, you had said that that was like they weren't so sure about it. Oh, oh 
that guy, he's like no longer with us. So oh. Good. <laughs> So did you guys get a LLC filing or? Okay, oh, yeah, it's still waiting. Ah. Now tomorrow night, uh, like, the biggest challenge I've had so far is like to pay clients who need to make like sales calls or whatever. Yeah. And it's hard because everything works nine to five, and I work nine to five. Well, if you're if you're doing like home uh, home repairs and stuff, then like calling them at home is, you know, not necessarily a bad thing. Oh yeah. So, you may have already looked into this, but like, um, probably the thing to do would be to like, um, tag along with some sort of meetup. Because like, meetups are always looking for speakers. So, like, it was like pulling teeth to get um, speakers when I was uh, in charge of the Linux user group. So like, if you go to them, and I'd be like, yeah, I have this pertinent topic I'd like. They'll be like, yes, please. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I don't know what one would be a good one for you guys. Uh, we had in Madison a group called Nonprofit Tech. And uh, that would have been the place I would have suggested to go if we were in Madison. Uh, you could reach out to Almissa, Almissa Allgood on, uh, in Madison um, and just see if she knows of somebody doing something similar in, uh, in Minneapolis. Sure. Um, We, uh, we're looking at getting our shopping cart together um, for Black Sonic too. Shopping cart? Yeah, like a, you know, like a digital place to sell stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, right now, like everything's going out through the distributor, yeah. but um, eventually we wanna, we wanna sell stuff. Like existing, you know, there are existing websites that can like provide you with payments. You mean like Big Cartel or? Or what? Wix. Oh, well Wix is like a, that that's like a web development platform, isn't it? Yeah, but you can add like cards. Yeah, I mean, we don't, we don't, you know, like our head guy is like a, you know, He's a web developer. He doesn't need something like Wix. I mean, uh, yeah, if we, I don't know if Mike's looking at, um, at, uh, I mean, Big Cartel is the obvious one in the music space. Um, I mean, then I guess you can do like, sells through like Amazon and stuff like that, but I don't know that. Oh, that's right. Try selling on Amazon. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know like, uh, you know, the time frame on that. Uh, I doubt Mike really wants to, to like, manage the whole Amazon thing, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, ultimately it'll depend on like, you know, to some extent who takes like the smallest cut, <laughs> you know? Um, 
But I mean, because the thing is, is like people that are coming to us, like we're, we, nothing we're gonna do is gonna be mass produced. So like they already know what they're looking for, you know? So um, they're gonna be coming to our website. And then it's just a matter of like, you know, having that fulfillment experience um, be good, but yeah, yeah, it's a different, uh, a different world when you know all of your. I mean, I think like a thousand is probably going to be a big, a big run for us. Um, huh? A thousand uh, pressings. Uh, you know, like the tapes we're talking about doing are like in the hundreds. Um, so I don't know that like that we would really need the uh, the uh, boost of Amazon. Yeah, I mean, he uh, needs to make sure he's not wearing him. Well, he needs to make sure that he finishes. Because, you know, like these the things he does run for a limited time. Oh, and it's weird because the way it works is the distances have a set amount of time. Um, and it doesn't matter like how, like what the terrain is like. Unless they do have this category that's called like super randonneurs or something where it's just like all climbing. Yeah. Um, but uh, I can't remember the distance that he said, but one of them was like 13 and a half hours. That may have been a 200k. 